Archer and Coates of the Maple Leafs, George Punch Imlach. Well, Jim, there you have the introduction of not only the All-Stars, but the Maple Leafs. And for this second period, the Leafs will be at the north end of the left, wearing their dark blue uniforms, and the All-Stars in their white uniforms at the south end to the right. And uh, maybe we can draw to the attention of hockey fans from coast to coast the uh, major rule change that we have so far, Jim. Oh, this is the one about the face-off circle, right. Bill. What about that? Have you seen enough of it yet to convince you that it's good? Uh, well, I, I like it very much. I think it's going to be a great help to centermen, particularly uh, smaller centermen. The big, burly defenseman cannot take you out. You must play the puck with your stick. You cannot touch with the body. It's a minor penalty. Well, I'm always opposed to rule changes till I see how they work, so we'll watch during the game. <laughs> okay, Jim. All set to go. Bathgate with Ron Ellis, number 11. Frank Mahavlich is 27. Bobby Hull, 7. For the All-Stars, with Jean Bellavon, Gordy Howe. Pierre Pallad is 11, who has the puck. Coming up the center ice, over for Bellavo. He's cutting around the defense. What did it go? He shoots it. Howard got it on a skate. Back for Horton. The pass for Frank Mahavlich ends up on Bathgate stick. He shoots it along the boards into the All-Star zone. Glenn Hall in goal. Here's Bathgate right in front. Ellis with it. A shot. And that was stopped by Glenn Hall, who got his toe on it. Back for Gordy Howe, number nine in center, over the blue line. Back to Hall. And Ellis got there to check it. Turn it out over the blue line. Pass go to Gordy Howe. Back to Hull. There's a drive, and that was just off the target. The rebound went all the way to center. No score in the game so far. Bauer to Hart. He handed it right to Hull. Hull and Howe bumped together. Here's Gordy Howe with it. The shot. Bauer stops it right on his pad and holds it for a faceoff. Now we'll have an opportunity to show you this face-off in which the two players do not make contact. They play the puck with their stick. The face-off is in the Maple Leaf zone to the right. And taking this particular face-off will be Gordy Howe of the All-Stars, number nine. And Bob Bond, I believe number 21, is going to move in there for the Maple Leafs. Referee John Ashley makes them set their skates properly at the cross in front of that small circle. All set to go. There's Keon shooting it off the boards. McKenney let it go and it slides down the ice. Bobby Hill number seven back for it. And behind the all-star goal, McKenney moves in very quickly and they hold it at the back of the net for another faceoff. We'll see it again. The All-Stars outshot the Maple Leafs in the first period, nine to eight. And there were a total of five penalties, three of them to the Leafs and two to the All-Stars. Bathgate, Howell, Bond, Douglas, and Oliver in that order. Of course, it's a sellout crowd here at the Gardens tonight for this 18th annual All-Star game. Bobby Hull, a pass to down below for Gordy Howe, and it goes by him over the red line. Howe got in ahead of Brewer, touched the puck, and Keon has to cover up. Keon brings it out over the blue line, a long pass for Armstrong, Vasco after it, and he flicks it out. McKinney is bumped by Howe. Clearing pass to Keon, intercepted by Howe to Hull. Down the ice with Pallott, and it's outside here, Pallott. Got over the blue line in advance of the pass, and there'll be a face-off outside the blue line as we're coming up to the two-minute mark in four seconds of this second period, and there's still no score. Had a very fast first period of play. All set to go. Stan Makita back to Leo Boyman, number 23, shot it into the leaf zone, and Bauer to Carl Brewer, Bob Bond number 21, to George Armstrong for Dave Keon, too far. Leo Boyman breaks it up, shoots it in. Camille Henry's up there with Stan McKeon and Rod Gilbert. Rod Gilbert is number 12. His pass hit a leg, gets it again. Bumped into Bond. Bob Bond, a foot pass for Keon. Keon trying to get by LaPerriere, who covered him. And there's going to be a penalty here. Penalty is handed 
out. To the All-Stars, Jacques LaPerriere, number two. And that's the first penalty of this second period. And the third penalty to the All-Stars. All-Star penalty, number two, LaPerriere. Two minutes for interference. Interference. The time, 2.27. 227, interference, called against Jacques LaPerriere. The face-off is in the All-Star zone to the left, and Fulford is out there with Shaq Stewart, Douglas, number 19, and Andy Bathgate, number 9. So it's four forwards, one defenseman. Douglas, a backhand. Glenn Hall grabs it, shoots it to the blue line, and it goes out off the glass. Bathgate for Eddie Shaq. It was behind him. Pierre Pilat. Passing it over the line, and Bob Pulford breaks it up. Pulford. Out over his own blue line to center. Long shot off the boards. Stewart went after it. Pulford comes up with it. Back to Bathgate. His shot was in front, and it's knocked to Del Vecchio, number 10, of the All-Stars. Coming down at center over the line with Ullman, number 8. There's the shot. It hit Douglas. Douglas to Pulford. Back to Shaq. Down the left wing, over the blue line. Eddie Shaq closing in, goes behind the net, trying to pass it in front. Howell gets it loose, shoots it off the glass, and that caromed off the corner of the glass at the leaf bench and went up into the box seats. Regular carom shot. The linesman is ruling that the puck was shot, actually, from inside the blue line, and since it did go over the boards, it's where it was shot from. The players have to be awfully careful what they say to the linesman and the referee this year. Otherwise, it's an automatic misconduct. You cannot argue. On the faceoff, played down the ice by the All-Stars, and going back for it is Douglas, number 19. 55 seconds left in the penalty to Jacques LaPerriere. There's no score in the game as Armstrong goes up at center. He's checked by Ullman, who gives it to Pierre Pilat. Baskate had him covered. Now it's Armstrong back for Frank Mahovlich to fire. He races after it. Pierre Pilat beat him to it. Ullman checked by Armstrong. McKinney trying to get it loose. The linesman was in the middle of it, so the referee blew his whistle. And we'll have a face-off as we come up to the four-minute mark in the second period in four seconds. Still no score. Elmer Vasco gets it over the line. Armstrong took it away from him. He and Bathgate collide. Appearing pass for Armstrong to Douglas ahead to Frank Mahavlich. He starts out at his own blue line to center. Up over the all-star line, working in with Bathgate. Bathgate tried to get it loose, and it's turned down the ice by Pilat. Three seconds left on the penalty to LaPerriere. Douglas back, number 19. Douglas coming up to his own blue line. A long pass for Jimmy Pappen on the right wing. And it's called on a delayed whistle offside. As soon as the all-star player Vasco touched it, it comes outside the blue line. The referee, John Ashley, number three. The linesman, Neil Armstrong, number eight. Matt Pavlich, number seven, who will make the faceoff outside the all-star blue line. Tempo of the game has slowed down somewhat from the first period. The all-stars outshot the Maple Leafs nine to eight in the first period. Vasco gets it to the blue line, gets it handed back to him over to Leo Boyman, number 23, to Rod Gilbert, stopped by Bond. Goes right back to Vasco, over to Rod Gilbert again. The pass for Stan McKeeter, breaks it over the line offside. He put himself offside. Camille Henry coming in also on the left wing. Johnny Bauer, number one, starting in goal. For the... Maple Leafs, and I understand that Terry Sachuk will be in the nets after the 10-minute mark, the halfway mark in the second period in the game. Right, four minutes and a minute mark, the halfway mark in the second period in the game. Right, four minutes and 52 seconds of this second period. No score. 
George Armstrong coming up. So it's Armstrong with Harris and Eamon. Brewer and Bond. Akita to Rodgio Bear a shot. Bauer steered it off to the side. Now it's a chance for Henry a shot, and that was deflected back to the blue line. Boyman wrapped it to Gilbert. He handed it right to Armstrong. Back up the ice for the pass to Eamon. Eamon's shot was wide. Armstrong is given a bump. Rod Gilbert shot it. Eamon after it. Back to Brewer. Brewer, a pass to Billy Harris. Back to Armstrong. The shot was wide. Rob Bond lets one go, and that hits Vasco. Elmer Vasco clears it out, and Bond just brought it back in again, and it's a deliberate offside, so the faceoff comes back into the lead zone to the right. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. For the All-Stars now at center ice is Murray Oliver, number 15, Brad Provo, number 16, and number 22. Playing out there now is Johnny Busick. Comes back to LaPerriere, his shot knocked down by Bauer, another shot hit the post. Provo shot hit the post. Howell was checked by Harris, played right back to Billy Harris, and Brewer helps him out. Carl Brewer to Bob Bond. Up over the blue line to center. A long shot, way wide. Provo watched by Eamon. They go to the boards and hold it there. And we're at the six-minute mark of the second period. Still no score. Bill, these teams are just warming up, of course. The regular season opens for the Maple Leafs on Thursday night when they're in Detroit, and that should be very interesting. Last year's Stanley Cup finalist. And, of course, the Detroit audience wants to see its old favorite, Terry Sawchuk, in the Maple Leaf net. Right, Jim, and all set for the faceoff. Hopefield gets it back. It went by Douglas's stick and down the ice, and he has to go back for it. Kent Douglas, number 19. To Tim Horton, number seven, up to Bob Pope for 20. He was going the wrong way. Now he turns. Being watched by Oliver, he passed it by Shaq. It's going to be icing. Ron Stewart gets in there ahead of him and gets a hold of it. He's knocked down. Pope runs into Oliver. They go to the boards. Clyde Provo's there, and there's no further play. The reason there was no offside is because Ron Stewart was able to get in and touch the puck. Face off now in the All-Star zone to the left. Wolford facing off with Murray Oliver. Watch this face off again. They play the sticks. Notice Wolford had to move out of the way that time as Oliver moved up towards him. Douglas to Horton. Off the boards. Stopped by Murray Oliver, number 15. He shoots it back into the leaf zone. And back there for it is Douglas. Shot it around on the boards, but not out. Harry Howell keeps it in to Murray Oliver. Trying to center it. He does. Ron Stewart off his skate. Then he flicks it with his stick out to center. Jacques LaPerriere clears it back to Provo. Provo shoots it in off Horton's leg. Bob Pulford's there. Pulford. Passing to Douglas. A pass for Stewart. Hopefully it brings it down the ice. Takes a long shot into the corner and the rebound to Johnny Busick, number 22. Off the boards, but not out. Douglas lets it go, and that's just wide. Oliver comes back. A pass to Howell. He goes over the line with Provo. His shot in front of the net. And Horton picks it off to Stewart. Stewart. Over his blue line to center. For Eddie Shack offside by one stride. And the faceoff comes outside the blue line, and it'll be a change of players all around. Jim? I don't know how many of our viewers understand, Bill, that this game, the participants are playing for nothing. This is true. The hockey players do not get paid for the All-Star team. As far as the All-Stars themselves are concerned, even their own home clubs pay their expenses to come here. And from the faceoff, Brewer. Gets away from Belleville this time to Bathgate to Mahavlich. He's closing in. There's the shot. Glenn Hall grabbed it with his left hand. Back up the ice for Jean Belleville. Gordy Howe on his right. Howe on the left. Over the blue line. Belleville, a drop pass. Just a shade back of 
Gordy Howe, Bathgate and Vasco against the boards. No further play. And we played eight minutes and three seconds of the second period. Still no score in the game. From the Maple Leafs, it's Bathgate with Ron Ellis, number 11, Frank Mahavlis, 27, Beliveau is four, Bobby Hell is seven, Gordy Howe is nine, Pierre Pilat, number 11, Elmer Vasco, number five. Bobby Barr, number 21, behind the net. He passed it off the boards. Gordy Howe intercepts. Here's Pierre Pilat. Scott. Bauer stopped it. Bellamo tied it go. Howe does. Oh, he shot it high. And it went over the glass. A point blank drive. And it just kept rising. I think it went right through some man's head <laughs> up there behind the goal, Bill. I wonder, Jim, that that puck could get up so high so quickly. That's what that chap's thinking. <laughs> Hope he has that covered with his floater policy. <laughs> All set to go. Cleared along the board. Bond stops it. Cleared it out again. Bathgate fights for it. It goes loose to Gordy Howe. He shoots it right into the leaf zone. Bauer stopping it. Carl Brewer moving very slowly to Bob Bond. Clearing pass for Bathgate and Mahavlich. How to Howe to Bellavo over the line. They're going in. Bellavo trying to center it. He did, and Ron Ellis broke it out. Ron Ellis bumping into Pierre Pilat. Bobby Howe helps him up. Goes back to his own blue line. Now he winds up. A pass for Howe over the line. How hits his shot at three wide. Howe tried to center it. And Brewer knocks it into the corner. Bellavo breaks it up. His shot came off. Howe skates. Omelette's cleared it, but not out. Pierre Pilat to Gordy Howe. Omelette's trying to get it out. He can't. Gordy Howe with it again. Here comes the drive, and that's way wide. Bellavo trying to center it. Gets it again. It's tipped in front of the net. Here's Hull with a shot. Another shot, and Bauer made the save. He didn't know it. And it was cleared down the ice. As the All-Stars do everything but score. Pierre Pilat to Elmer Vasco, to Gordy Howe again. Ahead to Stan Makita. Here comes his shot, and Bauer stops that and comes out of his net to cover up. Now then, Vaughn and Stan Makita fetching a little bit near that late goal, and Bauer is leaving, and Terry Sachuk is coming in. Okay, Jim. And this is a moment I imagine that many televiewers right across Canada have been waiting for to see Terry Sawchuk, of all people, playing goal for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And a great welcome he's getting. Here he is, Terry Sawchuk, wearing sweater number 24, putting on his mask. And Charlie Hodge at the other end, number 25. All-star penalty to number 21, Makita. Two minutes for Ruffy. Leaf penalty to number 21, Bond. Two minutes for Ruffy. The time, 9.43. 9.43 for that little scuffle in front of the Leaf net. Uh, referee John Ashley has rewarded Stan Makita and Bob Bond with two now minutes for Ruffy at 9.43. Here's the out for the goalkeeper. Charlie Hodge. Bill, while we have this lull, I'll mention that first unofficial All-Star game, which was played in February 1934 in Toronto. And of course, that game was in for the benefit of East Bailey. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. As I said, that game was made for the benefit of Ace Bailey, who, of course, had suffered a very serious brain injury in that scuffle with Eddie Shore down in Boston. And although it isn't listed officially as an all-star game, it was the first one in the National Hockey League. The Leafs played a great team here on that night, and they raised $24,000 for Bailey, which in the year 1934, in the depths of the Depression, was like about 124000 a day. Incidentally, it might be interesting to mention some of the players who were on that all-star game. Charlie Gardner was in goal, Lionel Conacher, Red Dutton, Eddie Shore, Alan Shields. There was one forward line of Hooley Smith, Nell Stewart, and Babe Siebert. 
Uh, Normie Himes played, Frankie Finnegan, Larry Ory of Detroit, and then there was the famous line of the Rangers, the two cooks, Bill and Bun, with Frankie Boucher at center. It was quite a night. That's really an all-star team. Uh, it was indeed. Yeah. I imagine that was possibly one of the great games of all time, too, because it was a novelty then. There never had been one before, and I recall it was watched with interest all across Canada. All set for the face-off. The teams are playing five aside. Le Perrier to Boyvin a shot. Oliver's shot. One and Sarchuk had to stop it at point blank range. Now it's Dave Keon racing after the puck. He's out there with McKinney. Martin and Douglas. Keon at center over the blue line. Took his shot and Hodge steered it to the corner. Charlie Hodge now playing goal for the All-Stars. Replacing Glenn Hall and Terry Sarchuk replacing Johnny Bauer. Don McKinney. To Keon, stopped by Murray Oliver and Johnny Busick to Jock the Perrier, number two. His shot is way wide. Horton back for it. We passed the 10-25 mark of the second period. No score. Pass for Keon. Boyman takes him out. Over the boards comes Pappen. Jock the Perrier down the ice for the All-Stars. Number two over the blue line. Trying to center it. Oliver keeps it in there. Over here to Leo Boyman. There's the shot. He scores! Long shot. And it caught the inside of Terry Sarchuk's pad and went into the net. And it's 1 0 for the All Stars. That one appeared to go all the way by Leo Boyman. One to nothing for the All-Stars. Ten forty-seven. We'll wait for it officially. All-Star goals scored by number twenty-three, Boyden. Assist number two, Le Perrier, and number fifteen, Oliver. The time ten forty-seven. 47 was the time, and now there's going to be a penalty after a close play around that all-star goal. Harry Howell going to the penalty box. One to nothing for the all-stars. Boyman from Oliver and Perrier at 10.47. All-star penalty to number three, Howell. Two minutes for hooking. The time, 11.03. 11.03, a hooking penalty to Harry Howell. So now the All-Stars play two men short, the Leafs won. It goes from Keon to Douglas over to Bathgate, hopped over his stick. Vasco covers him. So does Elman, and it's Douglas flipping a pass to Mahavlich. To Bathgate. Over the line, he takes his shot and off the boards, comes back for Douglas. There's his shot. Keon tried to get a hold of it. Mahovlich shot one. Mike Mahovlich. Back to Bathgate. Over to Douglas. Douglas going right in. And his shot was stopped. Bathgate keeps it in there. Over for Mahovlich. Right in front to Douglas. There's his shot. Oh! Right off the goal post. And it's all tied up 1-1. One, one. Just as Barn and Makita return to the ice, Douglas let that one fly. And there's one that went right in off the left goal post. So it's all tied up 1-1. Leafs goal scored by number 19, Douglas. Assist, number 9, Bathgate, and number 27, Mahavala. The time, 11.45. 11.45 is the time. Teams are back at full strength. A shot off Pulford's skate. Pulford with it. A foot pass to Eddie Shack. Over here for Stewart. Back to Shack. Over the all-star line. Pulford goes after it. He hit the back of the net with his shot. Ron Stewart tries to dig it out. He's bumped by Pilat. Here Pilat takes it away from him. 
It comes back to Barn. His shot is wide. Matt Provo on the right wing, watched by Shaq. Goes back into the leaf zone where it's Vaughn with a number 21 to Carl Brewer. Up over his own blue line. Up the center. Up over the all-star line to Shaq. Shaq to Fulker. There's the shot. Hodge has got it, and he fell down with a dazzling save by Charlie Hodge. Rising shot. Fulker trying to pick the top left-hand corner, and Charlie Hodge went up after it and got it. The scoring plays in the game so far. Boyman from Oliver and LaPerriere at 10.47. Douglas for the Leafs from Bathgate and Mahovlich at 11.45. They have seven minutes and 12 seconds remaining to play in the second period. It's a 1-1 tie. Slapping of sticks and out of the face-off circle goes Bob Pulford and John Bellavo. Not in the draw, Howe got it, then Stewart and Howe bumped together. Gordy Howe, number nine, a long pass for Jean Bellavo goes all the way back to Brewer. To Stewart, intercepted, back for Leo Boyvin. Long shot into the corner, comes out in front, Bob Bond covers up. His pass for Pulford bounced out to center. Leo Boyvin shoots it back, Howell races after it, Terry Stotchuk came out of the net, here it's played right in front, and it's Eddie Shack after it. Out the left wing for Shack, over here to Stewart, over the line, a pass for Cooper, and he shot it wide. Cleared out to center ice, Vaughn, shoots it right back in again, and they're starting to open up in this second period. Clearing pass to Jean Bellavo. Down the ice, he comes at center with Bobby Hull on his left. Over the line. Back to Hull. To Gordy Hull. Back to here to B Boyvin. There's the shot. And such a good down for Bellavo scores. Bellavo got the rebound. And it's 2-1 to one all star. Jean Bellavo gets the rebound. All-Stars have taken the lead for the second time in the game. All the scoring has been confined to the second period. There was no scoring in the first. All-Star goal scored by number four, Bellable. Assist number seven, Hull, and number nine, Howe. The time, 13.52. They gave the assist to Ho and Howe, but the shot was fired by Leo Boyvin. However, that the assist this year given by the official scorer, not the referee. The referee only gives the goal. It goes into the corner. Frank Mahavlis didn't see it. Gets it now. Tapped by Makita. Gets away from him. Frank Mahavlis down the ice. Over the red line, over the blue line, gets through the defense, covered by Howell, tried to center it, and Hodge made the save and knocked it back. Neil Henry, a pass down the ice, and Douglas goes back for it. Shoots it off the boards to center. Here, Pilat to Rod Gilbert, over here to Camille Henry. Back for Stan Makita, and his shot is wide. Douglas fails to get it out. Stan Makita flips it right to Mahavlis. And here, Pilat beat him to it. Mahavlitz handed it right to Rod Gilbert. The All-Stars outskating the Maple Leafs at this point. Scott Sotchak flipping it over here to Ron Ellis. He's checked. Dan Makita handed it back to Ellis. And Makita gets back to cover up to Howell. Four minutes, 55 seconds remaining in the second period. Two to one, the All-Stars. Sotchak to Horton. Bathgate, right in front of his own net. Douglas, hit Henry, then Bathgate follows it over the line. Still has it, took his shot, and it goes to Hodge, and he comes out of the goal crease, and for some reason, there's been some pretty loose play around the goal creases, Jim. It has indeed. But as a matter of fact, Bill, I'm just going to remark, you know, it's probably only justice that 
uh, Bellavo got that goal because there is a coach's dream of a forward line. Imagine having Bellavo in between Hull and Howe. <laughs> All-star penalty to number 25, Hodge. Two minutes for deliberately holding the puck. The time, 15.31. This brings us to an interesting thing about the goalkeepers and the penalty. I understand the goalkeeper also can get a penalty this year for deliberately clearing the puck into the crowd. Isn't that true? That's right. This is not the year for goalkeepers, although they the have all one rule. The penalty will be served by number 12, Gilbert. The goalkeeper is not fair game if he comes out of the net. If he's touched, that's a penalty. Yeah, I often wonder how many penalties they'd get if they had to serve penalties themselves as they <laughs> did in the old days. Hodge gets the penalty. Gilbert is going to serve it, so the Leafs have the odd man playing six men to five, trailing in the hockey game two to one in the second period. McKinney was roughed up along the boards, down the ice. Number eight, Ullman. Here's the shot. Sotchuk stopped that. Pathgate a pass to McKinney to Armstrong with Keon over the line. Goes to the corner behind the net here. Palat's in there quickly. Keon trying to get it loose. Here Palat falls on it. And there'll be a face-off in the All-Star zone. There's four minutes and four seconds remaining in the second period. The All-Stars two. Toronto Maple Leafs one. Royvan, Douglas, and Bellavo, the goal scorers in the second period. It slipped out to center, Bathgate to Douglas. Douglas stopped by Del Vecchio. He in turn checked by Keon. McKinney tried to get loose. Alman with it. Alman back to Pierre Pilat. Pierre Pilat rags the puck to Alman. Alman for Del Vecchio. Takes his shot. Sotchuk stopped it. Bathgate back. Bathgate coming up the ice to his own blue line to center. He shoots it in. A race for him. McKenney let it go, and it goes to Alman. Alman going down with Vasco. Alman over the blue line to Vasco, the shot, and Sarchuk made the save, and Douglas was knocked off stride. Douglas to Keon with McKenney. Stopped by Vasco. Keon brings it in offside. McKenney was inside the blue line. And this game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Seven seconds remaining in this second period. Two to one for the All-Stars. Douglas to Bathgate. He shoots into the All-Star zone. Leo Boyman back for it. Gets it away from Pappen along the board. Not out, though. Bathgate breaks it up. Brought in by Billy Harris outside. As Bathgate and attempting to get it loose and knocked it out over the blue line. 27 seconds left in Charlie Hodges penalty being served by Rod Gilbert. Doc LaPerriere wraps the puck down the ice and going back for it is Carl Brewer. Number two, Brewer off the boards to Bond. Bond a pass to Billy Harris down with Eamon and Tappen. Over the line. A pass for Paplin in the corner. He tried to center it. Billy Harris back to Brewer. There's the shot. That was knocked down and cleared out. And down the ice goes Oliver, number 15. For Johnny Busick. Partially checked. Rod Gilbert is out there. And Eamon comes back to the lead with Harris. Over the all-star line. Tried to center. Oh, he did. And Paplin's shot was just off the tank. Back for Rod Gilbert, two-man break, one man back with Oliver. They're going in together. Back to Oliver, he shoots, and he shot wide on the backhand. It's Jimmy Pappen's turn, along with Billy Harris, down the ice. Pappen over the line, and he's knocked down from behind by Busick. Clearing pass, stopped by Bond. His shot, knocked down by Busick. Busick ahead to Gilbert, over the line. Back to Busick, he's in the clear, he shoots, and Sarchuk stopped that. Well, Perriere is shot, and Sarchuk stopped that one. Bob Pulford. Over for Shaq. Pulford brings it in, and it's offside. And Shaq was in ahead of him. One minute and 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Two to one for the All-Stars. Bill, when I mentioned that these players are playing for nothing tonight, 
the next question, of course, is why? Well, actually, this money all goes into the pension fund, and believe me, it's a really good one. Under the new terms, a 10-year man in the HL, when he's 65, gets a modest little pension of 10000 a year. It's enough giving up one night's work a year to get that. It certainly is. I don't imagine, as a matter of fact, Bill, that there's a better pension plan anywhere in sport for the amount of money that these players make in the course of a year. Even in, uh, possibly in a more high-salaried sport, they might get a little more, but this is really remarkable when you think of some of those old fellows who played in this league and starred for salaries of about four or 5000 a year. I was wondering, Jim, when you were mentioning the goalkeepers used to go to the penalty box, what, uh, what effect that would have on the game today? We'll well, I think to it that. would make nine more goals a game. <laughs> It's Bellabo out there with Bobby Howe and Gordy Howe. The Leafs have Pulford, Shaq, and Stewart. A minute and 28 seconds remaining in the second period. Two to one the score in favor of the All-Stars. All set to go. It comes over here on the boards. Tim Horton back for it, number seven, over to Kent Douglas. Douglas over here to Stewart. Stewart in on the right wing. Howell checked him to Bobby Howe. Howell pass for Howe and went by his skates down the ice and Douglas is going back for it. It's over the red line and icing will be called against the All-Stars. Speaking about those penalized goalkeepers, Bill, years ago, the most penalized of all was a fellow named Heck Fowler who played for Victoria in Boston. He was also a fire buff. One night he held up a game in Winnipeg because he heard a fire engine going by and he jumped on the back of it and got to the rink 20 minutes late. <laughs> Well, from the face-off, the puck goes to Hull. Hull was partially checked, gets it again. Bring it out to center. Shot right in and the lead play down. In this period. Bellabo and Shaq. Horton after it. A pass for Pulford. Pulford goes down the ice with Stewart and Shaq. Over the line, Shaq shoots! And Pulford shot high. And it was over top of the net. The puck carried into the crowd, and there's 42 seconds remaining in the second period. I might say, Bill, that Charlie Hodge is the first goalkeeper ever to be penalized in an All-Star game. Ready for the face-off in the All-Star zone to the right. Wilford and Bellavo. Bellavo got the draw to Palat. Flicks it out for Gordy Howe. Partially stopped by Stewart. Howe bounces, or at least whacks at the bouncing puck. Bellavo tried to drag it with a skate, and it goes by Palat down the ice, right to Hodge. 25 seconds remaining in the second period is Palat. A pass to Bobby Hell, number seven. He's checked. Eddie Shack goes after it with Palat. Harry Howell for Bobby Howell with 10 seconds remaining in the period. Stopped by Stewart. Now it's back to Hull again. And Shaq bumped into him. It goes back into the leaf zone. And there goes the bell to end the second period. NHL All-Stars 2, Toronto Maple Leafs 1. The All-Stars, the south end of the right, the Maple Leafs with Charlie Hodge in goal for the All-Stars and Terry Sachuk for the Maple Leafs. All-Stars leading two to one and it's in the lead zone. Cleared off the glass, Andy Bathgate with a pass for Frank Mahavlich goes down the ice. Cleared out over the blue line to center. Gordy Howe with Jean Beliveau and Bobby Howe into the lead zone. Here's Jean Beliveau with it. He scored the tie-breaking goal for the All-Stars. Vasco shot is way high. Gordy Howe is bumped by Mahavlich. Bellavo then taken into the board. And Mahavlich and Gordy Howe do a bit of shoving before the whistle is blown. The referee is John Ashley, number three. The linesman are Neil Armstrong, number eight. Matt Pavlich, number seven. There was no scoring in the first period. Three goals in the second. Ron Ellis. Knocked down, he's number 11, the rookie for the Maple Leafs, up from the Memorial Cup champion, Toronto Marlboro. Down the ice comes Bellavo. 
over the blue line. Back for Gordy Howe. There's the shot, and that was just off the target. Mike Mahovlich to Bathgate. Back for Mahovlich. He races after Harry Howell gets in ahead of him and clears it to Howe. Howe sits it up for Gordy Howe. Over the blue line. Here comes a try for a shot. He changed his mind, and he couldn't control it. Bellavo centered it. Hit Douglas. Bobby Howe in front for Gordy Howe. Over to Howe. Right to Horton. Martin flicks it over here to Mahavlis, number 27, ahead to Bathgate. A long slap shot. Charlie Hyde stopped it. Knock the Perrier. Number two brings it out. Up the center. A long shot. Sotchuk let it go. Dan McKeeter gets the rebound. It's cleared right to Andy Bathgate. Bathgate and McKinney. Don McKinney at center. To the blue line and no further. Dan Nikita coming back, number 21, to Bobby Hell, number seven. Flipped it right on to Don McKinney's stick with Keon. McKinney to Carl Brewer. To Don McKinney over the line. And it was stopped there by Camille Henry to Boyman to Rod Gilbert, number 12. Here he comes at center. Over the line with Camille Henry back to Gilbert. Gilbert centered it right, and McKinney intercepts. Then Lapierre's shot. Sotchak stopped it. Then Makita drive. Oh, Sotchak just got his pad in the way of the drive. Now then, Keon got a break. Put man back. Races after it. Stops. Right in front. On moves up. There's the shot. Hodge has got it. Throws it off. Don McKinney picks it up in the corner. Back to Brewer. Here comes the shot. Right on. Hodge stopped it. It's knocked into the corner. Here's Keon with a shot. And it hit Lapierre and bounces over the glass. And we play two minutes and 47 seconds of the final period. All-Stars two, Maple Leaf one. And they've played 42 minutes and something <laughs> with anybody getting a penalty on this face-off rule. But let's watch again, Bill. Okay, Jim. And it comes for Armstrong and he's balls covered by Boyvin. Henry stopped by Keon. Lapierre shoots it out to Camille Henry, number 20. He's checked by Armstrong. The Perrier to Boyvin. Boyvin off the boards for Gilbert. To Stan Makita, number 21. Makita over the line. Vaughn bumped into him. It comes out to center. Rod Gilbert takes a pass to Stan Makita. To Rod Gilbert, number 12. He gets it back to La Perrier. Here's the shot. And Hotchuck stopped that. Here's a chance for Gilbert. He shoots it, and that's why. Down the ice for Brewer. Up at center. Over the line. Brewer shot it right in front. And Stan Makita picks it up. Armstrong took a shot on a backhand. Dr. Perrier goes to the boards and he holds it there and there's no further play. And we're at the 345 mark of the final period. Bill, if the game ends this way, it'll be running according to form because in the past years, I think that the Stanley Cup winners have only won five games. The All-Stars have won seven, and three have been tied. Shots on goal in the second period. The All-Stars outshot the Leafs 16 to nine. Horton lets one go. It's way high. Rod Provo, number 16, cleared it out to center ice. Douglas, watched by Del Vecchio. Number 16, Trot Provo couldn't get away, and Shaq shoots the puck into the All-Star zone, and it's Elmer Vasco, number five, picking it up behind the net. He passes it over to Elman, up on the wing to Del Vecchio. Del Vecchio's over the line. Here goes his shot. Sotchuk stopped that, and the rebound went all the way to center. Clearing pass off the boards. Horton wraps it for Stewart to Pulford. Pulford, Stewart over the line, back to Shaq. Jack flipped the shot, and Vasco was there to cover up. Vasco gets it out. Horton tipped it. Provo, number 16, Elmer Vasco, number 5. He's at center to Pierre Pallott. He's checked. Del Vecchio to Vasco. Shot knocked down by Douglas. Douglas flicks it out. Hopeford can't get away. Provo comes in over the line for the All-Stars. Stopped by Douglas. Just flicks it out again. Pierre Pallott, number 11, shoots it in. Notchuk stopped it. Horton back for it in the corner. Tim Horton now bringing it out. A pass for Colford. It was behind him. But he backhands it into the All-Star zone. 
Charlie Hodge out of the net. Off the board. In behind the goal, Homer Vasco. Ahead to Del Vecchio, number 10. To Pierre Palat, number 11. Here he goes at center. Up to the leaf line, over. Pierre Palat getting right in front, and his shot was stopped by Sachak. Hopefully after it, there's going to be a penalty here. And it's going to be to the Maple Leafs, and I think it's Ron Stewart coming over here, number 12. Stewart gets the first penalty of the final period. The 11th penalty of the game. Matter of fact, in the second period, the All-Stars had four of the five penalties. Leafs penalty to number 12, Stewart. Two minutes for interference. The time, 5.32. Face off in the Maple Leaf zone to the left, and it's Jean Beliveau, Gordy Howe, Bobby Howe, Pierre Palat, Stan Makita. It's knocked out, a race for it, Keon going after it. And he was too well covered. Good. There's going to be a penalty here for holding to Palat. You notice nobody's saying anything to the referee. I think that Pierre knew he was going to get a penalty just for general larceny that time, Bill. <laughs> he couldn't exactly say he held them, but he did. It was a combination of interference, holding, and all, all in Australian, Australian wrestling. <laughs> Two minutes for holding. The time, 5.43. On the face-off, the teams are even. At five aside, the shot on goal, hard stopping at number 23, Leo Boyvan. Bringing it out. He's out there with Murray Oliver, Johnny Busick, and Harry Howell. Carl Brewer, Bob Bond, Dave Keon, and George Armstrong. The puck was knocked down by a high stick. Uh, Bill Elliott, I never sleep tremble, the publicist for the Detroit Red Wings has reminded us to <laughs> mention again that Detroit and Toronto open the regular season in Detroit on Thursday night. Leafs are going to make a change, Billy Harris and Jim Pappen. That's Harris number 15, Jim Pappen number 18. All-Stars, Stan Papp. Coming up to the six-minute mark in two seconds of this final period, the All-Stars are leading two to one. Leo Boyman, his shot was wide. Johnny Busick, number 22, leaves it for Harry Howell, number three. There's the shot. It's right in front. Busick, passed over, to scores! Harry Oliver! And it's three to one for the All-Stars. Oliver, Busick, and possibly Howell. Assist number 22, Busick, and number 3, Howell. The time, 6-11. 6, 11. 6 11. Oliver from Busick and Howell. Back for Johnny Busick again, number 22 at center. Over the blue line. Checked by Brewer. Brewer bringing it out, number 2, with Pappen. A long shot off the boards. Pappen after it, took his shot. Hodge caught it and leaves it there for Murray Oliver, for Johnny Busick. Up he comes to his own blue line. Three to one for the All-Star. Into the Leaf zone goes the puck. Pappen after it. Bond pumps into Oliver and Jim Pappen and Billy Harris come out. 12 minutes, 55 seconds remaining as Pappen is rammed into the board by Boyle. Cleared into the corner. Oliver. Over to Boyman. Up to Busick. To Oliver. Oliver flicks it into the corner. Sachuk to Brewer to Mahavlich. Mike Mahavlich. Up at center. Stewart is on the ice for so the Leafs. Enjoy a man advantage for the next three seconds. Ron Stewart. 
Off the boards for Horton. There it goes. And Hodge knocked it with his glove over top of the net. Howe and Pilat with Howe taking his pass. Over the line, breaking through the defense. He's knocked down. And Bathgate's back there. Over to Mahavlitz. Mahavlitz at center over the blue line. There's his shot, and that was just wide. Bobby Hull to Bellavo. Back to Hull at center. Over the blue line. He's back to Bellavo. Here it goes. He's right in front. And it hit Hull skate and went wide of the corner. Another shot ends up near the net. Horton trying to get it out. The arm is up again. Here's a delayed penalty to the Leafs. Boblich touches it. A penalty handed out here. Kent Douglas is coming to the penalty box. All stars three, the Leafs one. Leafs penalty to number 19, Douglas. Two minutes for interference. The time, 8.35. At the 8.35 mark of this final period, Douglas in the penalty box for interference. Three to one is the score in favor of the All-Stars. And it's cleared down the ice. Hodge. Watching as Palat gives it to Stan Makita. Over for Bellavo. He left it for Bobby Hull. Hull up at center over the blue line. Here's the shot, and that is wide. Hopefully, deflected it off Stan Makita went into the crowd. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Molson Canadian. Molson Canadian. All set for the faceoff. Bond behind the net, shoots it off the boards and out to center. And Makita back for it in his own zone. Too far for Pilat, but Bellavo was there, number four. Don Bellavo with 10 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the game, leading three to one. The All-Stars having a man advantage. Pass for Howe, checked by Stewart, and Stewart shoots it down the ice. Back for it is Pilat, number 11. Palat starts out, up to center, over for Stan Makita, checked by Stewart, for Pulper, too far. Hard shoots it into the corner. Howe, now to Howe, up at center with Bellavo on his left, Gordy Howe lets it go, left. Gordy Howe lets it go, and that's right into the crowd, a bullet drive. Faceoff will be inside the blue line in Leaf territory. And Kent Douglas now has 38 seconds left in his penalty. Boyman from Oliver and Perrier at 10.47. Douglas from Bathgate and Mahavlich at 11.45. And Bellavo from Howe and Howe at 13.52 of the second period gave the All-Stars the 2-1 to one lead. Then Oliver from Jusick and Howell at 6.11 of this final period and they lead 3-1. Elmer Vasco. Alman back to Vasco, stopped by Armstrong. Armstrong and Keon with Brewer and Vaughn. To Armstrong at center, over the line. And the relay for Keon intercepted by Jusic to Vasco, ahead on the right wing to Stan Nikita, number 21. Over to Del Vecchio, his pass stopped by Armstrong, checked by Elman to Del Vecchio. Back to Stan Makita. Knocked down by Bond and Keon breaks away. There's Bond, they're trying to get back. Over the line to Bond, and he's knocked down and rammed into the boards, and there's gonna be a penalty here to Provo, and I think Provo may have hurt himself when he fell into the board. Well, we're having this brief lull for emergency repairs. <laughs> uh, I might mention there are a couple of old timers from that first 1934 game who've been in town this weekend. Frankie Boucher, the old New York Rangers star, he came back from Regina after a long, long time. 
And Red Dutton, of course, was here. He all played for New York Americans in that famous All-Star game. But he was here in the capacity tonight. He's having a really busy weekend. He had to supervise the presentation of the Stanley Cup. Tonight, as a president, former president of the Calgary Stampeders, he has to stay up to watch the football game, which starts on this network about half an hour afterwards through. And then on Monday, he's got a horse running out at Woodbine, a horse called Royal Attaché, who will be running in the $40,000 cup and saucer stakes. And imagine uh, if that horse happens to win, within a day or so, there will be the biggest party in the history of Calgary, which is covering considerable ground. Well, certainly a busy time for anybody, Jim. Ready for the face-off in the All-Star Zone. Keon with Mahovlich, McKinney, Douglas, and Bathgate. There's Douglas' shot at hit a skate. McKinney after it in the corner. Back to Douglas. His shot to the opposite wing. Keon goes after it. Pilat beats him to it, number 11. Tries to get it up. McKinney back to Bathgate to Douglas. There's the shot, and it's right on. And Masco shoots it down the ice. Bathgate back for it. Number nine. Three to one for the All-Stars in this final period. Pass for Keon. Offside, McKinney put him offside on the right wing. The All-Stars outshot the Maple Leafs. Nine to eight in the first period and 16 to nine in the second. There were five penalties in the first period. Three to the Leafs and two to the All-Stars. Five in the second, four to the All-Stars and one to the Leafs. And there's been four so far in this final period, two apiece. Huck goes into the corner in the leaf zone. Douglas, number 19, will lead the attack. The Leafs have the odd man. McKinney was stopped by Del Vecchio, number 10. Back to Vasco, and he just flicks it right to Bathgate. Bathgate to center, shoots it in. A rebound in front to Pierre Pilat, number 11. Keon covers him, can't center it. Masco holds it against the boards, and there's no further play. Trying to be a change of players. This game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Eight minutes and five seconds remaining to play in the game. Three to one for the All-Stars. The face-off in the... All-Star zone to the left, and there goes Hermie Elman, chased out of the circle because he didn't put his skates properly in position. So Vecchio got the draw, Harris after it, back to Bathgate over here to Douglas, here comes the shot, that's wide, there's a shot, and it's not no tap and put two racks on it, and somehow it stayed out. Elman clears it out, over the line, Douglas to Eman, number eight, back to Douglas, Douglas turns, a pass to Pappen, stopped by Busick, couldn't get it out. Jim Pappen's knocked down, it's still loose, and finally goes to center. Douglas, ahead to Jim Pappen. He shoots it right back into the All-Star zone. Harris races after it. Pilat falls on it. Busick gets a hold of it, Eamon is there to cover him, and there's no further play. And there's nine seconds left in the penalty to Claude Provo. And Appears from here as if Claude Provo is all right and is not hurting after falling into the board. That's the lead player, Bob Bond. Seven minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the game. I think, Bill, that the All-Stars appear really to have had the best of it, even if the Leafs happened to come to life in this final seven minutes. The All-Stars took charge about halfway through the game. And from the face-off, it's back to Larry Hillman, who takes his shot. That's stopped. The red light is not on. Happen. Play is still going. It hasn't stopped yet. The Leafs thought they'd score it. No red light. Play is going right on, and Horton has a hold of it in the corner. Harris to Eamon. Back to Billy Harris. Robo on the ice. The team's at full strength. Cleared around on the boards. Horton moves up. Busick cleared it down the ice, and Hillman goes back. Six minutes and 38 seconds remaining. As Horton leads a four-man rush. A long shot. Stopped by Eamon. 
Heyman trying to center it. He scores! Kaplan finally put it in the net. He thought he scored earlier, but I think even from our side, he points him, it didn't look like it got in the net the no. first time. Well, Jimmy Pappen really made sure that the referee, John Ashley, knew he'd scored this time. Uh, I imagine that Ashley's being a little lenient so early in the season, seeing this is an all-star game, because he didn't reply. <laughs> because it could have cost him $25. <laughs> yes, indeed. Leap scores for my number 18, player, Pappen. Pappen. Assist number 8, Eman. The time, 13.35. 13.35, so that puts the Leafs right back in the game. 3-2 for the All-Stars. Hellman a pass for Fulker. Eddie Shack, it was behind him. Back for Shack again. Pierre Palat breaks it up to Rod Gilbert, number 12. Knocked out over the line to center. Tapping from Eamon, 13.35 was the time of the goal. 3-2 for the All-Stars as Stan Makita moves in. Hillman covers him. Hopeford and Stewart go out. Hopeford to center. Over the line. It's offside. Stewart went in ahead of Hopeford. Five minutes and 49 seconds remaining in the game. Three to two for the All-Star. Knocked into the All-Star zone. Pierre Palat to Leo Boyman, number 23, ahead to Stan Makita, number 21. Makita over to Rod Gilbert, over the line. Horton, watch. Hillman after it. Knocked it behind the net to Horton. Up to Stewart. Couldn't control it. Camille Henry's check. Oh, and Stewart was hit by a stack. And he went over on the wrong side. Eddie Shack running into Stewart. Now it goes back into the All-Star zone, and Boyman's there to Pierre Palat. Stan Makita flips it out to Gilbert. Horton moves up. Goes back into his own zone, shot it off the boards to Stewart for Popper. Up to Hillman. Over to Eddie Shack on the left flank, closing in. Covered by Palat. Cleared, but not out. Horton lets one go, and that's just wide. Pathgate on the ice. Howell trying to get a hold of it. Here's Sam Nikita, Rod Gilbert, and Bobby Howell are over the line together. A pass right for Sam Nikita. It rolls in front, and Stewart races after it. He ran into Boyman. Boyman getting a shot. Oh, and Scott Tuck just got his glove in the way of that one. Dan Makita with it. Bobby Hill right standing in front. Boyman with it at the blue line. There's a shot, and that's just off the target on a deflection. The Leafs hemmed in their own end. Stewart shoots it down the ice in desperation, and it's going over the red line. And it'll be called back for icing with four minutes and four seconds remaining to go in the game. And this game is coming to you from Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. All-Stars three. Out of Maple Leafs, two. Four minutes, four seconds remaining. Face off in the Leafs zone to the right. There's Bobby Hull, a shot was wide. It's right out in front, and Bellavo didn't see it, and when he did, he shot it wide. Hank Mahavlitz, behind the net. Mahavlitz trying to get away from Bobby Hull, does the head to basket. And Ellis, on the right wing. Ellis back for Mahavlitz. He shoots. Oh, he shot wide. Bathgate tried to get it in front. Howery Howell falling. Knocked it out the center to Bobby Howell with Bellable. To Bellable. There's the shot, and Sachak stopped it. He centered it out in front. And Mahavlitz clears it, but not out. Mahavlitz gets it again. This time to Brewer. Brewer can't get it out as it hit Bobby Howell. Bob Bond will try his luck. Three minutes and 15 seconds left. Brewer running into Howe. Up the ice goes Bond over the line. And Bobby Hull is there to cover up and shoot it down the ice. Brewer there. Up to Ellis. 
Ellis now with a pass from Mahavlich to Ellis, the basket, and he's covered. That goes Hull. Two minutes and 50 seconds left over the line. Here's a shot, and that is wide. Brewer can't get it out. Howell shot it right at Brewer. Brewer to Ellis, and he flicks it out to center. Vasco shoots it back. Brewer starting out a four-man rush to center. Shoots it in. Rebound to La Perriere. Off the boards for Hull. Trying to get it out. Vaughn moves up. Tries to kick it loose. He's jammed in on the boards by La Perriere. Bobby Hull helps him out. And we have two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the game. All stars three. Toronto Maple Leafs two. Bill, I have a very unenviable task attempting to pick the three stars in this game. It would be easy if I could just pick Bellavo, Howe, and Hull. <laughs> <laughs> No, we would quarrel about it on the basis of their season's play, anyhow. And from the faceoff, McKinney gives it to Hoyt. His shot, hard stops. Here, Palat number 11. To Elman to Del Vecchio, number 10. He shoots it down the ice. That by Sotchuk. Knocked to the corner, and Armstrong picks it up. To Hoyt. Up for Keon at center. Takes a long shot wide. They race into the All-Star zone. It goes to the corner. Hellman tearing it out to Del Vecchio. Over here to Provo. Provo. I declare it in front, and Douglas has it. Douglas, a long pass for McKinney, and it was deflected off here. Pilot stick into the crowd. One minute and 32 seconds left. All stars leading three to two. All set to go. Puck goes back to Douglas. This pass hit Del Vecchio and is cleared by the All-Stars into the lead zone. Horton. To Keon. Armstrong. Over the All-Star line. Stopped by Provo to Ullman. Then McKenney gives it to Douglas. Back to McKenney. Kenny flipped it over the line. Keon went after it, and here Palat breaks it up. And the All-Stars are checking fiercely uh, now. Less than a minute to go. That duck is still in the nets. Out comes Eamon. A pass ahead to Eamon, and it's offside. It's from inside the blue line and taken by Eamon over the checkered line at center. 49 seconds left. 3 to 2 for the All-Stars. Delavo, Hall, Gordy Howe, Elmer Vasco, Harry Howell, for the Leafs, Pulford, Pappen, Eamon, Douglas, and Bathgate. And they said something to Sarchuk, which means that he's going to come out if they can get the puck down on the other end. Bathgate, pass to Pulford, coming up the center, he shoots it in, Sarchuk's leaving the ice. Hodge cleared it off to the wing. Pulford shot it into the corner. Howe trying to get it in front so he can take a shot down the ice. Elmer Basco is checked by Harris. Howe goes after it. They all jam. It goes loose to Pulford. He's trying to center it. All around that all-star goal. Basco after it. He can't get it out. Back to Douglas. Shot it off the board. Basco shoots it. Oh, it just went over top of the net. It's all around the front of the net. Here's another shot. It hit the glass. And Harris is knocked into the board. Basco gets a hold of it. He jams it there. The bell goes. The game is over. And the All-Stars hang on with a mad pile. All around. Juliet Prowse and Connie Francis are just two of the headliners you can expect to see tomorrow night on the Ed Sullivan Show. This is the CBC Television Network.